Hi, in this video, I'll walk you through the steps to attach external NFS storage to your VMware Cloud on AWS SDBC. I'll be leveraging Amazon FSx when I tap on tap and Amazon VPC peering to complete the setup. The entire process can be completed in five steps. So let's dive into each and one of these to learn more. First, let's go ahead and create our storage file system. From the AWS console, Navigate to the FSx dashboard, click Create File System, and select Amazon FSx from the tab on tap. Next, select Standard Create to view the advanced parameters. Under File System Details, you can specify the file system's name, the deployment type, the SSD storage capacity, and any provisioned IOPS or throughput. Next, under Networking and Security. Specify the VPC from which the file system will be accessible from, the security groups attached to the file system's network interfaces, and the subnet where the file system will reside. We will leave the default encryption key, but let's set the administrative password for the file system. So you will need this in the future for ONTAP CLI or API access. Now, Amazon FSx by default will create a storage virtual machine or an SVM that will allow us to serve data to clients. So let's give this SVM a name and we'll specify a password for direct access to the SVM. And then we'll keep the default settings for the volume security style and active directory. Now, as part of the default SVM, we'll also create a volume, which will be our NFS data store. So we'll give it a name and then we'll specify capacity before enabling storage efficiencies and choosing the default snapshot policy. We'll keep the rest of the configurations as default for now. And then we'll go ahead and click next to review our overall configurations. Click create file system to initiate the FSX deployment. This will take some time to complete. So monitor the status until it becomes available. And then you can click on the file system to view its configurations. For example, here we can view the storage virtual machine and the single one terabyte volume acting as our NFS data store. And if you click on endpoints, you'll be able to retrieve the IP address required to attach the NFS data store. Now let's move on to our second step of building network connectivity using Amazon VPC Peering. To do so, you must first retrieve the AWS account ID and the VPC IDs of the remote file system. Then using the VMware Cloud and AWS console, select the intended SDBC for peering. And under the storage tab, you now have a self-service capability to request the peering connection. Simply enter a name and then specify the AWS account and VPC IDs of the remote FSx file system before clicking on create peering connection. VMware will now provision a VPC peering request from the SDDC to your intended AWS environment. The next step is to go ahead and accept this VPC peering request. From the VPC dashboard and under peering connections, select the VMware connection pending acceptance and then use the actions drop down to accept this request. Once accepted, now we'll switch back to the VMware Cloud and AWS console to monitor the VPC synchronization and confirm that we can proceed to the next step where you will need to update the security groups and root tables to allow for end-to-end -end connectivity. Using the VPC dashboard, you need to edit the security group associated with the FSx file system to allow for inbound connectivity from the SDDC. So in this case, we're essentially creating several inbound rules, which will allow the ESXi hosts to reach the storage ports required to mount the NFS volume as a data store. Once finalized, let's go ahead and click on save rules to confirm our selection. Now with security in place, we'll need to enable network connectivity next. First, select the appropriate root table Click on Edit Routes and then add a new entry which enables connectivity to the SDDC hosts using the newly created VPC peering connection. 
Now let's complete the final step by attaching our NFS storage. Using the VMware Cloud on AWS console, select the SDDC enabled with VPC peering, and then under the storage tab, you can attach external NFS storage using Add Data Store. Select the Add Third Party Data Store option, and then enter the SVM NFS IP address before validating the end to end connectivity. Once successful, populate the rest of the information, then click on Add and Attach to initiate the data store attachment. This should take a few minutes to complete, and you can monitor the overall progress here. So give it some time and wait until the data store status becomes attached. Then we will log in to the vCenter web client and validate the NFS data store. So from the inventory, select data store, and there you have it, the NFS volume we attached from Amazon FSX from NetApp Ponta. Thank you for watching, and I hope this has been an informative walkthrough video.